Hey guys, Prithvi Raj here. Hope you guys are doing great. So today we're going to talk about this particular laptop that we have here. And you might be wondering, you have already did the review on the Asus ZenBook 13. So why are we looking at the same laptop again? Now, the good thing is that now we got the 11th generation Intel processor under the hood. So we're going to solely focus on the performance of this particular variant over the 10th generation processor. And that's what this video is all about. So let's not waste any time and get right into it. And you're watching The Adventures of Esper. Let's begin. Now, do take note that we are not going to get into any part of the laptop which involves the design, the display, the keyboard, any of that. So we're just going to get into the performance itself. Now, what we have here is the 11th generation Tiger Lake Intel Core i7-1165G7 processor under the hood, which is the U-series processor, considered to be the U-series processor, but the naming is all over the place. And it also comes with 8 gigs of RAM. And as for the GPU department, you get the latest Intel Iris Xe graphics. Now, to do a just a real-world comparison of sorts, the whole idea is to actually create a GPU that's equivalent to the NVIDIA MX series that we see in these kind of machines. And that's what Intel decided to do by bringing in the Iris Xe into this thin and light laptop for users to take advantage when they use their laptop. Now that out of the way, the 10th generation and the 11th generation may seem a little simple, but at the same time, there is a lot of changes that has gone under the hood. We have actually done the whole in-depth information of this in the article in the link down in the description below. So do check it out if you really want to know the detail and the nitty gritty part of the processor itself. Now that out of the way, what we're going to do is we're going to compare the performance against the 10th generation version of the Asus ZenBook 13 because it only seems fair to compare with a laptop that's pretty much identical in every single way possible. So for this benchmark comparison, we used four different benchmark app which is the usual Cinebench R20, Blender, PCMark, and 3DMark. Now these are the four important software that we use to benchmark here. And at the same time, when we reviewed the 10th generation variant of it, we used the same pro software. So we just wanted to keep it simple as much as possible. And right out of the bat, you can see the scores are really great because the 11th generation processor has so much of capabilities that the performance has surpassed the very 10th generation processor in so many levels. So which is kind of the question where it goes without saying, why are you afraid Intel? Because this is a very capable processor that we are seeing under the hood. Now there is an evil version of it, but we have no idea if the evil version will be made available for the laptop that we see right here, which is the Asus ZenBook 13. So it only goes without saying that Intel does have some nifty trick up its sleeve. It's just that they were a little afraid to execute it. I just don't seem to understand why. It doesn't matter what process they are using, even though the competitor is using a much efficient process for the processor, which will happen for Intel eventually, hopefully with the next generation or whatsoever. But for the time being, with the current process itself, with the improvement in performance, shows that Intel is capable of doing something. Now, Again, now the whole question is going to rely on people asking me, should I still get the 10th generation laptop? Because it's still relatively new and it was announced not too long ago. Yeah, you are right. The laptop was announced back in June or July, if I remember correctly. Then this one was announced about two, three weeks ago. So you still have the 10th generation laptop in the market and you have the 11th generation laptop in the market. So it's like, which laptop should I go for? Now, obviously, the performance difference is such a huge gap. When I say a huge gap is that the 11th generation does a better performance overall. So if you really want to get the laptop or if you really want to get the new Asus ZenBook 13 or any laptop for that matter, in fact, the new VivoBook has also upgraded to the new 11th generation processor. I'll actually add the link down to the review in the link in the description below by the folks over at TechReader and Asilama Tech, so you can check that out. But yeah, so that's the whole idea of this one. So it's really interesting and impressive how far Intel has come. But I have certain questions for Intel because I still, my main question will be why Intel is afraid to put this processor out and why they're so hell bent on attacking and why they sound so insecure in every single basically presentation that we have seen when they announced this particular processor. 
so that's all i have and that's pretty much it again if you really want to read the in-depth version of this review you can head over to the link down in the description below where we broke down the performance segment to show how much it's capable of in fact we have also included a little bit of interesting benchmarks comparing the 10th generation i5 version of this particular laptop versus the 11th generation so it will give you a much better idea on how much the performance have leaked in both the processor that's made available for this uh, for this particular laptop so yeah, that's basically it. This is a really quick video. Hope you guys liked it. And if you don't like it, give us a thumbs down. Go ahead. We are fine with that. But make sure to let us know what we need to improve in our next video. So huge thanks to Asus for sending this laptop for us to make this review happen. And also, we are really happy to check the new Intel 11th generation processor under the hood. We have more interesting content coming out here. So make sure to like us on our Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram because that's where we post all things tech related and more. So we will catch you guys in the next one. So make sure to be safe, stay safe, wear your mask at all times, and also protect yourself because the cases are increasing. And um, just to make sure that we are all safe as well. That's basically this is Prithi. We are signing off. Take care. And I'll see you guys real soon. Bye.